Hey everyone, Newman here with 910 today, and I've got a awesome new announcement for you. Here is the new regulator piston puller tool uh, to work on FX air guns or uh, for the preamp and the amp regulator. Um, this is the amp regulator that's uh, the brass version that's in the Crown Impact, uh, Wildcat Mark III, Maverick, etc. Uh, in any case, uh, you see the design here. So what happens is you put the piston into this end or you insert it in. You tighten this down. This is a threaded portion here. See those threads? You keep this together as one piece. You thread this down and there's uh, o-rings in here that causes tension onto the regular piston. It grabs it and pulls it out. I'm going to do a quick demonstration for you. So you start it with it just barely touched down. So like just barely fingered touched down to it, not tight go down onto the regular piston you push tighten down and you pull out so there you go and if i want to let go of the piston if i want to do a thing um well before letting go what i could do is i could go ahead and change out this o-ring right here without having to worry about holding it because it's being securely held and safely held. Uh, second, if I did want to take the washer stack off, all I gotta do is loosen that. And that's now loose. It causes no damage to the regulator piston at all. And if anything, you just put it back, make sure it's loose, push it in. It's a little tight, hard to do outside the rifle, but see? You can still do it. Push it on. Goes right back in. Put it into the groove. Grab the base here. The couple little lines here on the base for proper grip. Same thing on the top. You grab it. Loosen it. Wiggle it back and forth. Slightly pull the one side or the other. And it comes right out. No damage. So there you go. That is the regulator uh, piston removal and installation tool, or just the regulator piston tool. Uh, I'm about to jump over and show you how to do it on an Impact and a Maverick. Okay, so you can see there, there's the regular piston and washer still inside this Impact. And I come in with the regular piston tool. Try to do this a uh, little bit of an angle so you can see. The piston's in there. I tighten it down while holding this in place. And there you go. And put it back in. You can feel when the piston's in. Simply hold the base, turn the red knob, pull the one side. There you go. Ready for the next time. Okay, so you can see I've got the first regulator and the second regulator removed, except for the uh, regulator piston in there. I've got the tool here. Push it in. Tighten it down. Boom. That simple. Get it back into place. You feel around. Oh, there you go. Piston went into its slot. Loosen it. Pull it to one side. There you go. And again, here I'll show you on the sideways. We're going to touch it too. Just, just barely finger tight so that we know it's touching the O-ring. Go inside here. Find the piston. There we go. Hold it in place. Tighten it down. Pull it out. Take it back in, piston's in the slot, loosen that, and you only got to go like one rotation out, you don't have to go a whole lot, just one rotation, push it to the side and pull out, and there you go. Alright, to wrap it up here, just want to go over a few things, uh, it's made out of 6061 aluminium, or aluminum. Uh, and the inside is uh, o-rings to cause the tension so basically the design should never fail 
Uh, also with the uh, alum aluminum being anodized and such and that being a flat surface on the inside there it should never scratch the piston it'll work with both the Delrin and the new brass piston uh, should, so there shouldn't be any worries it may not work with an aftermarket regulator such as a Huma uh, because it is specifically for the FX regulator it's uh, designed for the preamp regulator with an 8 millimeter washer and the amp regulator with a 10 millimeter washer Okay, great. Uh, I have the hat here in the video because uh, Chris Harris over at Bull Central helped me prototype this piece and uh, help, helped me really get this out there. So I want to give him a shout out. He's a great an FX dealer uh, and he's also a great firearm dealer. So if you ever want to check them out, uh, they're a great shop. In any case, this piece will be available on 910. Uh, as soon as this video is out, if you're watching this video, then it is available. Alright, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section or to shoot me an email. Uh, and like I said before, go visit the website and go pick yourself up one today. Happy shooting!